How's it going, everybody? Josh with Dykus Enterprises here today. We're doing a really quick review on another Harbor Freight product. Today, it's going to be the Quinn six-piece diamond tip screwdriver set. SKU number 56198. I'm going to pick this up at your local Harbor Freight. It comes in a cardboard plastic packaging. I've already cut it open and got the screwdrivers out. They're diamond tip screwdrivers. They have magnetic tips on it. It's both a flathead and a Phillips set here that you're getting. Uh, they advertise as having ergonomic comfort grip and coming with a lifetime warranty. Question is, is it for your lifetime or the lifetime of the company? I guess we'll find out which one lasts longer. Um, so this is the back. Some of the stuff that they talk about um, includes your flatheads, 1 8 by 2, 3 16 by 4, quarter by 4, Phillips, a pH 2 by 4, pH 1 by 3, and pH 0 by 2.5. So here are your screwdrivers. Now, I've already bought a set of these. I've had a set of these before. Um, these are brand new. These are going to go into my new tech cart. That way I don't have to worry about constantly moving basic things like screwdrivers out of my big box into the tech cart every time I go out to work on something. So this is just a bare bones basic set. You know, I have an entire drawer in my big box dedicated to screwdrivers. Uh, this is just to get you by. And that's what this will do. This will just get you by. Um, the only thing I think the kit's missing, in my opinion, is the short and stubbies, uh, both the flathead and the Phillips. I'm a big fan of those. I use those quite often. It would be nice to see those in here. Uh, I know they have other sets that you can get those in, so it's not that big of a deal. Overall quality of these, I really do like the handles on all the various sizes. They're very, very comfortable in the hand. Um, they have that nice taper down where you're going to put your thumb and index finger on all of them while you're actually using it. Quite comfortable, quite nice, decent grip. I haven't had any of these really, you know, rip, fray, or anything like that from use um, with my other set. They're marked on the butt caps. Not that honestly I've ever walked into my shop going, I need a quarter inch flathead. No, I've never said that in my life. Tips are magnetic. Um, they're not super duper strong magnets. Um, however, if you take a washer, it'll pick it up. You can rotate it, it'll hold on there. It's not gonna go anywhere. So it works. And as you can tell, it's actually just slightly magnetic further down the tip. I haven't had too many issues with my magnets getting damaged, wearing out, or anything like that, but I also don't use these as pry bars. I have other screwdrivers that I use as pry bars that don't have magnetic tips, because who needs an actual pry bar when you own screwdrivers? One thing I really do like about this set, let me see if I can get a better view of it here, are the Phillips head tips. Now they advertise as a diamond tip for greater gripping power. Now the cool thing about this is even though they're calling it a diamond tip, what that Phillips head right there essentially is, is a Japanese industrial standard Phillips, um, which technically is a little bit different than a standard Phillips head screwdriver in the overall shape of the head. And if you're someone who's ever worked on any form of a Japanese motorcycle, a Honda, a Kawasaki, a Suzuki, anything like that, and you've tried to crack open the Phillips heads that hold on your the lid to your clutch master cylinder or your brake master cylinder on the older models at least um, where they're on the handlebars and you've used a regular Phillips head on that you know pretty quick and pretty easy that you're gonna it's not right they strip them out they you gotta put a lot of pressure onto it to crack them loose it's not the fact that you have a worn out screwdriver it's the fact that it's shaped differently. It's not a Japanese industrial standard tip that has that very sharp slope out. So that is perfect for those. It works very well also on a standard machine Phillips head. It drops down in very nicely. When I try to turn it side to side, I'm not, that's just my finger moving. That's not actually slop in the screw, so it's a nice tight fit. 
Overall, I do like these. I'd highly recommend this set if you're looking for just a basic set of screwdrivers to keep in a, you know, roadside tool kit in your tool cart, um, you know, in a toolbox on your work truck, whatever. You just need some basic screwdrivers. Um, this is what I would recommend. I picked this up. It was not on sale. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to have to check out what the price is on that uh, real quick and let you guys know. So I looked at it. It was $14.99 plus tax for the six-piece kit. Um, it's not a bad price, in my opinion, for a decent set of screwdrivers. Uh, like I said, it would have been nice to have had the two stubbies. Um, but what I have here is good enough for the tool cart for, you know, most of what I do working on vehicles, on motorcycles, little odds and ends. If I need anything, you know, specialty, I got it in my bigger box. But this will keep me from running in and out of the shop or constantly having to grab basic screwdrivers out of my big toolbox to put in a tool cart when I'm going outside to do some work. So overall, I'd give these a Harbor Freight rating 5 out of 5 stars. Um... I'd definitely buy them again if I had to. Uh, I haven't had any issues with the other set I've had. I've had that set for a little while now. I don't foresee having any issues with this set. If you've bought these uh, screwdrivers before, um, you know, this set in particular, because I have bought um, other sets of their screwdrivers, but if you've bought this set in particular, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Uh, have you had issues with it? How long have you had it? Have they held up well? Um, you know, did you have issues with the tip because you use it as a pry bar or, you know, has the screwdriver lived long and prospered essentially? Um, you know, do your handles fall apart over time? Have you splintered or cracked or broke anything on them, bent them? Let me know. Uh, drop a comment below. As always, like and subscribe. Uh, check out some of the other videos that I have on the page. We're going to start dropping videos a lot more regularly now. Uh, try to build up some of the content on the page. We also have some how-tos that are, we're working on, some automotive projects, some motorcycle projects, some welding projects. So we're going to start bringing all that to you guys soon also. Until next time, everybody, have a good one.